we, the state of Telangana, uh, are a partner state for this summit. We are the, the, the newest state of the country, but I can say that we are geographically the most uh, stable state. I say it not just in literal sense because we are on the Deccan Plateau, but also uh, in a strategic sense where uh, defense production capabilities, you, you really need a, a strategic location. And in the last 80, 90 months we have come into existence. Uh, the state of Telangana and our chief minister has been really focusing on making Telangana the leading state in the country in, in the area of defense research, development and uh, production. Hyderabad has traditionally been a, a, a hub for defense research, defense development. I think most of you would have had been to Hyderabad, the defense establishments, the DRDOs, the DRDLs, the Midani, the, the, the who's who of the country is there. So I think that's a, that's a great ecosystem to have when, when you're surrounded by so many defense uh, research and uh, development organizations all around. Human resources, which is, which is the key trigger, and we've been talking about skill development uh, in the morning session, where the, where the Secretary uh, Defense Production was talking about uh, skill development through the defense uh, PSUs. And he was saying that this is one of the CSRs of uh, the, the corporate uh, uh, PSUs. Hyderabad has close to 400 engineering colleges, one of, the, one of the largest number in the country. We produce annually about 100,000 engineers every year. I may not vouch for the, the ready employability of uh, uh, some of them, but I am sure that a large chunk of uh, them are uh, ready for uh, engaging into the workforce on day one. We as a state are, are, are very much excited by this uh, talk of uh, defense production in the country, and we think that we are going to be a major, major shareholder in, in this growth which the country is expected to see in uh, next few years to come. And we are trying to do everything possible which can, which can bring investments there. It's really encouraging to see the wide spectrum of participation as indeed the great enthusiasm over here. You've heard a whole range of speakers who have dealt with, whole, with all facets of uh, Make in India and Defense Make in India, so to say. I will just take a couple of moments, really, to connect with what the Army is doing about it. Uh, in that sense, if I can get back to a similar seminar in which our chief had spoken on the 11th of January, uh, he highlighted the point that Army requirements are actually most suited to make in India. Permit me to substantiate that a little bit. A, of course, because we have the largest number of schemes at any given time. Even as I speak, I have more than 150 schemes which are ongoing. They are all at relatively low cost. 42% of my more than 150 schemes are less than 150 crores. So quite clearly, there is opportunity for all. We have heard this term MSME over and over again. I think nobody gives as much opportunities as perhaps we do. And with this low cost are large volumes. As far as technical requirements are concerned, quite clearly we are relatively easy as compared definitely to the other two services. And finally, which to my mind a more important point is our requirements are unique. And I say this with some confidence because I have just been landed here after my last assignment in Srinagar having commanded 15 corps in Kashmir. There is no other army in the world which is deployed 24-7, 365, face to face with the enemy, rain, snow, thunder, snow, winter. Well, you could argue that if you are deployed, so are the Pakis. But what I would offer, it's a one-way infiltration. The Pakis don't counter infiltration. We do that. So, in any sense, it is really different for us as compared to any other army in the world.
absolutely it's a great initiative. We congratulate TV18 for that because uh, it really brings the focus on Make in India for defense. And frankly, awareness is half the battle. Since the launch of Make in India, we have doubled our sourcing from India. That focus has really helped. So thank you for doing that. Great initiative. Keep it up. I think Make in India campaign is a, is a great start for making this country a, a manufacturing hub. And in particular, the, the defense summit is a great trigger to bring in clarity into the what is happening in the defense sector and the way it uh, will grow further and then contribute to the growth of this country.